so this is the continuation of our first part in which we have seen how to calculate the settlement of a road embankment we have constructed this model and calculated the total settlement of this road embankment section using both drains and uh, without drains now in this lecture we will see that how we can calculate the uh, factor of safety for each of the construction stages of this embankment so by this time we have already learned that we have constructed this embankment into two stages into two layers firstly we have divided I divided it into two layers uh, in order to conduct the consolidation analysis we have divided it into four phases each uh, in the first phase we have constructed this red portion or the first layer in this layer uh, after constructing this layer in second phase we allowed this layer for settling up to certain days and in phase 3 we have conducted this second layer and similarly in phase 4 we have allowed it for consolidation settlement for uh, a certain degree of s consolidation in this way we concluded our first part of this lecture of, of this uh, road embankment lecture now in this lecture uh, we'll be starting similarly we will be starting from phase 1 and calculating the factor of safety or multipliers for each of these phases which is phase 1, 2, 3 and 4 so in order to do that we need to create a new phase from phase 1 so we are adding a phase into phase 1 so a new phase has been created as phase 9 in this phase 9 we will select the calculation type we can see here that the starting phase of phase 9 is phase 1 as we have expected so so our calculation type will be safety as we are calculating the factor of safety our safety factor whatever we may say and here loading type will be incremental that means we have to consider a certain increment for each of the steps and we have also to we have uh, we also need to denote the step size in total and before that we can see here that uh, poor, poor pressure calculation type is using by default pressures from previous phases and uh, we have also ignored the thermal calculations for this case we are selecting our displacement to zero that means we are also selecting small strain equals to zero and here we can see the default ITER parameters are, has been selected that means the maximum stage that we are going to allow for incremental loading um, for phase 9 we are selecting it as def by default ITER parameters that means um, by default it has uh, set it to 100 so we are using this 100 steps but if we want then we can increase our step size or uh, decrease it according to our uh, uh, analysis but if we see that our result is not a constant one then we need to increase our step size so similar in this way we will conclude this phase 9 similarly we will create another phase from phase 2 and the steps are same of for creating this phase that means we are selecting that means we are selecting the calculation type as safety calculating the safety as we are calculating the safety factor and we are resetting the displacements to zero and using the step size as set by default 
creating another face from face 3 similarly selecting the calculation type as safety and resetting the displacement to 0 exact exactly same for phase 12 which has been created from phase 4 calculation tab as safety and resetting displacement to 0 so in this way so in this way we have created four new phases for calculating the safety factor which is phase 9 10 11 and 12 so phase 9 has been created from phase 1 and 10 from phase 2 3 from uh, 11 from phase 3 and 12 from phase 4 that means um, as we have created four phases for consolidation settlement and uh, constructing this em embankment as well so we are selecting similarly four phases or constructing this embankment into f dividing this embankment into four phases to calculate the safety factor so let's start our calculation pressing the calculate button from sidebar we can see the calculation is running for phase 12 you can see the M summation of MSF which is indicating the safety factor or the multipliers as well it's 1.474 and uh, when it reaches 1.474 it becomes constant you can see 1.474 and 475 it's in between 1.474 and 475 that means when it becomes constant uh, it will move to the next phase and it will take it as the input or the output it will show it as the output we can see here for phase 11 which is 1.137 1.138 it's increasing and we have as we have given uh, phase uh, steps as uh, 100 for each of the phases so when it will reach 100 it will stop its calculation so 100 stop its calculation so in this way for phase 10 the step size when will be reaching 100 and by that time the multipliers will be or the fact factor of safety will be a constant one so 1.793 it has already reached to a constant behavior and we can see the step size is increasing but the factor of safety remains constant so for phase 10 we will be able to see the uh, answer as one point. Seven nine So the calculation has been completed successfully. So now let's see the output. We have calculation results. So we can see here the output for four new phases which we have created 10, 9, 11 and finally the 12. So, if we want to see the deformations, which is total deform displacements or total deformation, we can see here the failure pattern for phase 12 or the final phase. This, this is the maximum line along which it may the the failure may occur but um, actually the failure of factor of safety will indicate the actual result that whether the so slope is going to be failed or not while the construction is on process so um, in order to see the results 
we can draw a chart but before that let's see the, the calculation information for phase 12 for the final phase we can see that for phase 12 the value of summation of MSF which is means uh, safety factor is 1.475 that means uh, in phase 12 um, it has reached to the point of 1.475 that it indicates that the scope will not fail okay let's see how we can draw the chart and show the displacements according to faces so we're drawing a new chart in x-axis we are taking the node we are actually drawing the ch drawing the uh, curve of displacement versus faces taking considering the node of toe point that means for this point we will be showing the graph so creating a new graph from curve manager and selecting the node which is the toe point so at x axis we are going to introduce the displacements and at y axis from the multiplier section we can take the mean safety factor pressing ok um, this is not the final one we as we can see here that from clicking on this chart option we can see here actually all the faces has been selected so we just want to see the safety factor for a particular phase so selecting starting from phase 9 so we have this selected all and just clicking on the final phase or phase 12 and pressing ok we just want to see the uh, phase 12's answer or curve ok let's resize our chart starting from 0 and maximum up to 1 so as we are seeing the result of phase 12 so we are renaming the curve title okay So we have reset the scales from manual section uh, minimum zero zero maximum one applying ok now we have shown here for phase 12 if we want to add further phases which are 9 10 11 then we can select once again and add curve from current project drawing the same curve pressing ok and let's select phase 11 for this before that this select all and select phase 11 pressing ok so this is our curve so this red one is our curve for phase 11 so rename it as phase 11 let's add another curve from our current project for phase 10 let's draw the, this curve for phase 10 this selecting on and just selecting the phase 10 pressing ok renaming it to phase phase 10 let's add the last curve which is for phase 9 from current project drawing the same curve selecting phase 9 only hitting ok and renaming it to phase 9 so pressing apply and then ok so these four are the curves for four phases you can see phase 9 10 11 and 12 so we can see that as we have considered the steps up to 100 
then uh, before reaching 100 it generally reaches the constant line we can see that for like for phase 9 when we have cons uh, constructed the first layer of the embankment the factor of safety is a bit lower and it reaches the constant line within the 100 phase limit and this one is for phase 11 this one is for phase 12 and this one for phase 10 so we can see that each of the phases um, easily reaches the constant line for vector of safety so that means that the steps we have step size of 100 we have considered are okay for this calculation so in this way we can draw the factor of safety diagrams for each of the phases with respect to displacement so we can save this chart and in this way we can conclude this um, calculation of factor of safety